Read. Bring it forth evil fruit. Bring it forth what? Evil fruit. You see that? A corrupt tree bring forth evil fruit. A church that allow women to to teach, to to pastor, to uh to do sermons over the congregation, ain't no good fruit coming out of that. That's evil according to God. Because God said the flock of his pastor is men. You see what I'm saying? Sound like L's. On the side where the real Jews reside, we gon' pull up. Hurry heads in them young lads when we pull up. Camp signs in the down flies when we pull up. Prophesying casting down lies when we pull up. In the midst of tribulation, we gon' look up. Black Messiah crank the sky, whole world shook up. We ain't need tripping, cause we know we getting took up. If you don't wanna burn, come and learn, you can pull up. Drop the ad and we invade. Pull up everywhere like we calisthenic crazy. In the Bible, right? Watch this. Let me show you something. Read. Because we are here to teach God's law, right? So we wanna we wanna we wanna work with the churches and stuff like that, but they gotta be under the, the laws of God. And I'm gonna show you something that our churches allow to go on that the Israelites, we don't believe in because the Bible don't condone it. Right. Watch this, read. The book of Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 31. Read. And ye my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men. So God says the flock of his pastor are men, right? Now, give me 1 Timothy chapter 2. You know what I want. God says the flock of his pastor is men, right? Meaning what? The men is the one that lead the congregation. The men is the one that lead the flock. God deal with the men like that, right? Exactly. Watch this, read. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence, with all subjection. Because y'all had a woman pastor the other day, right? Yeah, we did. A woman did the sermon, right? Yeah, what the Bible say? Let the woman learn in silence, with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to observe authority over the man. See, our people hate the Bible. So when the Bible start coming out about God's laws, they don't want to hear it. This is the Bible. Right. We teach the Bible from the, the front part of the Bible all the way to the end. Right. But our people hate God. The Bible says a woman is not supposed to usurp authority over a man. A woman is not supposed to teach a man the Bible. Watch this, read. Read. Over the man, but to be in silence. But to what? Be in silence. They supposed to be in silence in the church. Yeah. Read. For Adam was first formed. Now, God finna tell you why, old school. Watch this. Read it again. For Adam was first formed. Adam was first formed. Read. Then Eve. And Adam was not deceived. Say what? And Adam was not deceived. But the woman, being deceived, was in the transgression. That's why God said a woman can't teach no man in no congregation. No, because he won't lead the man to the trouble. Exactly. So what? So... But us being in church and we allowing we allowing the women to teach and do sermons and stuff in the church, is that out of order with God? Well, it's out of order with God, but you know, for certain things, you know. It's out of order. It's out of order, ain't it, bro? That's out of order. Give me 1 Corinthians 14, 34. Because guess what, bro? We're supposed to be doing what the Bible say. Watch this. And, and, and believe it or not, this is the love that our people lack. Because when you love somebody, bro, you know, you're an older gentleman. When you love somebody, you're going to tell them what's right. That's right. Regardless if they want to hear it or not. If you're trying to save their life, you're going to do whatever you can to pull them out the fire. Because yeah. I know you from that generation. Yeah, yeah. Watch this, read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches. See that? The Bible said what? Let your women keep silence in the churches. Read. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience, as also said the law. You see that? God said they're supposed to be under, under obedience. We're supposed to be feeding the people with the laws of God. That's right. 
You see what I'm saying? Our people getting up in the pulpit just shucking and jiving and cooning, bruh. They not teaching people God's laws. Go back to Psalm 19. Bring it out. The law of the Lord is perfect. And believe not, give me Baruch 4 and 1. Because guess what? We got to teach the Bible as it is written. That's the reason why our communities are in the shape that we in, bro. Because the men, the men got weak and soft, and they let the women run everything. Read. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandment of God and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. You see that? The Bible said this is the book of the commandments. From the front of the Bible all the way to the end of the Bible. We're going to follow the Bible from the beginning to the end. Right. If the Bible taught that women could teach in the pulpit, that's what we, that's what we would teach. Yeah. But it don't teach it's that. So it's like they, our people are like what? Oh, lambs led to the slaughter. So we, feel, let, we feel betraying God. So they, they let the women preach in the church. Right. Too. So that's something ain't right. So now, how, so how do we fix these problems, bro? Like, what should we be doing? What about that book right there about the real life? Ah. Right. Give me uh, Isaiah 55 and 7. Bring it out. Because this is what our people got to do, man. We got to understand that we've been doing things the wrong way. So once we find out how to do things the right way, we got to ask God to forgive us for our sins. Well, we got to repent while we still got a chance. Watch this, read. The book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way. The Bible says let the wicked forsake his way, read. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. Let him do what? Return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. And, uh, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. He will do what? Abundantly pardon. The Bible says that the Lord will abundantly pardon us for our sins, bro. If we change, if we repent. Let me ask you something. What is sin? What you do wrong. Everything. What you do wrong. Like, like, give me an example of what sin is. Sin is when you do Devilish stuff to certain people. That's sinning. Right. You know what I want? It's sinning when you uh uh have sex with a woman when you ain't married. Exactly. Ah. Watch this, Reed. You exactly right. The book of first John, chapter three and verse four. Because the church don't teach this right here. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is when you break God's laws. When you're doing anything contrary to what God said do, you're breaking God's laws. But if our people not being taught in the church what sin is, how are they going to know? You, still breaking God's you see what I'm saying? You're still breaking God's laws. Give me Hebrews 13 and 4 that the soldier was going to uh, bring out. Watch this. This one law that our people don't keep right here. Read. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. The Bible said that marriage is honorable. You know, we should get to the point where... You know, we should have more marriage in the black community. That's what's going to build strong families, marriage. Right. Where the daddy there, the mama there, we can raise the kids under God's laws. They're right. keeping a lot of people off the street because they have time to take care of their real business. Exactly. Right. Read. My next kick with y'all, I, I, I got to make a run somewhere. But it's all good, I love it. For sure. Everything. Let me give you one more scripture after this, though, Read. One more. And he bad under foul. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Now, the Bible said God will judge a whoremonger. A whoremonger is somebody that has sex and they not married. Right. Are you doing that? Well, everybody's done it. Everybody have done it. But when we learn to do better, we, we got to do what? Do better. If you are doing that, then what the scripture I said before that, all you got to do is stop doing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ask the Lord to forgive you because believe it or not, give me Titus 3 and 3. We all been guilty of that That's sin. That's right, yeah. It ain't just their sin. We've done many of sins. But the only thing difference is that when we heard the laws of God, when we when we start learning the truth, we start keeping the commandments of God. We change. Read. The book of Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Yeah, we was foolish too. Don't get it twisted. Read. Disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, and hating one another. But... What? But after that, the kindness and love of God. The what? The kindness and love of God, our Savior toward man, appear. So now the kindness and loving towards God is what? If you love God, what you going to do, bro? Give me 1 John 5 and 3. Bring it out. This is the love of God. Remember, the scripture said we had to stop doing the, the wickedness of our doings. Right. And if we love God, this is what we going to do right here, Read. 
The book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Read. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God, Mr. White. Read. That we keep his commandments. That what? We keep his commandments. Mr. White, what did he say the love of God was? That we keep the commandments. So if you love God, what you gonna do? You gonna keep the commandments. So that woman that you got, if you love God, you gonna quit having sex with her. Until y'all get married. Yeah, that's, what, that's the best way to do it. That's the best, that's the only way to do it. Because God said what? He gonna judge you if you don't. I know it. What's some way God can judge us? He can, we can wake up one morning, bruh, uh, and, and just out of nowhere, we could be sick. God has struck us down with the disease. God can give you a disease that the doctors can't diagnose. You know that? I know. God can give you a disease that the x-ray machine can't see. Give me that in 2 Maccabees chapter 9 verse 5. Watch this. I'm going to show you because God punish our people all the time. He can, you can wake up in the morning here hit you in your head with a straight bullet. You can get in your car and you can have a wreck. Or you can wake up in the morning and I'm sick and I don't even know what the hell is going on. And you on your deathbed. Because the God, the most high God got diseases that he put on our people. Read. The book of 2 Maccabees chapter 9 and verse 5. But the Lord, all, but the Lord, but the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, the who? God of Israel, read, smote, smote him with an incurable and invisible plague. What did he do? Smote him with an incurable and invisible plague. The, the Most High God smote a man with an invisible, incurable plague. Right. So you could you you could be perfectly healthy one day. You done heard the laws of God, and then in my mind, you know what, man? I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. You wake up in the morning, you sick as hell. Yeah, hey. You go to the, you go to the damn doctor. You go to the doctor, and you got the best insurance in the world. But that ain't gonna cure you. It ain't gonna kill you because God said what? Well, smote him with an incurable and invisible plague. For as soon as he had spoken these words, a pain of the bowels that was rem remediless came upon him. And sore torment. And what? Sore torment. Read. Of the inner part. Of what? The inner part. You see that? God will strike you down with a damn disease, bro. That it'll be straight torment in your inner parts. That's what the Bible say. I know it. You see what I'm saying? So what must we do? Give me Isaiah chapter 59 verse 2. Get out. Watch this, bro. Because in our people, we got this mindset that we can just do whatever it is we want to do and all that. And God, that's the reason why God be judging us, bro. We got to let the Bible think for us. Read. The book of Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 2. But your iniquities have but what? your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. You see that? So if you're in the midst of sin, bro, God is not gonna hear your prayer. Right. Did you know that? Did you know that was in the Bible? Yeah, I knew it. Watch this, give me that. Because these I, I, the church don't teach the church, the church, they don't teach us this stuff. We, we taught that long we pray to white Jesus, long we, we can be in the midst of sin, do whatever it is we want to do, get on our knees, pray to the white God, and we're going to be okay. Now you don't pray to the white God, you pray to the God of your kind. Right. And you got to do, it's not what the white man say, it's what you think is the part of, you get out of what, what the white man say, you didn't take the, you don't deal with the white man. But say. that's what the, the church, church on Sunday, they teach the white man doctrine though. Right. right. Yeah. That's why we are here to let our people know that you may not believe in white Jesus, but the doctrines that they teaching, a woman pushing, uh, a woman uh, have, doing a sermon, is y'all worshiping white Jesus. That's right. Because the black God in the Bible don't condone that. That's right. That's the, that's the whole yeah. purpose we are here, exactly. to cast down the lies that's in our people's head. Right. Read. The book of John chapter 9 and verse 31. Now we know that God here is not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and do of his will, him he hear. God only hear those that keep the commandments of God. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Give me Acts 3 and 19. Bring it out. You know what I mean? I know exactly. You probably heard more scriptures today than you heard in the last year, bro. Because them people that be in the church, they just be cooning, shucking and jiving. Yeah. They not teaching our people God's laws, bro. The real laws. The real laws. We hey, are we are we are we are we uh missing screwing anything? We coming straight out of the Bible, bro. Come but when people see us, they hate us. No, but I know they're gonna be they're gonna hate Jesus Christ. Exactly. Yes. And bro, you got you got a little bit of knowledge. No, right. I already know you got people in the street. You see that in the day. Hey, you see that every day out here. Yo. That's why guess what? Yo. That's why you should be joining in with us, bro. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. Which, where, where, where I got you at? Well, give me that first and then Zephaniah. The book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted 
that your sins may be blotted out. Because at the end of the day, bro, that's all we want. We want to repent. So when Christ come back, give you give him water, bro. You ain't got to buy now. We want we 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 want we want our people to convert and keep God's laws, bro. Read it again. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. That's the only way our sins gonna be blotted out if we convert by keeping the laws of God, not getting dipped in no water. You see what I'm saying? I, you can do that, but that's not what converts your soul, though. That's not the real baptism. Did you know that? Give me 1 Peter 3 and 21. Because that's another thing that, I, that, the, that the Christian church teach. They teach as long as you get dipped in the water and you come up, you say. But that's not according to the Bible. Watch this, read. The book of 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 21. The life figure, where to even baptism. Even what? Even baptism do it also now save us. Now baptism do save us. But let's see what he's talking about, read. Not not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. Not the putting away the filth of the flesh, meaning like water. Because water take dirt off your flesh. Right, yeah. The Bible said it's not the putting away the filth of the flesh, read. But the answer of a good conscience toward God. But what? The answer of a good conscience toward God. That's the real baptism. The answer, answer of a good conscience toward God. Ephesians 5 and 26. Because once you got a good conscience toward God, you're going to start remember. You, you, your mind going to come back to this Bible. Right. You're going to start keeping the commandments of God. The right way. The right way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things. Church, a lot of churches doing certain things. But, you know, you got to get the, what the goodness out of it. It's not what they, the badness part. You get the good part out of it. Church. Right. You, it's, a lot of people say certain things you don't like in church. But... You got to turn around to what she said. She said good. Unclean yeah. thing out of a clean yeah. thing. Joe Watch this. This is the, the problem right here, though, Joe 14. All right. This is the thing. A lot of our people in the church, they got a zeal for God, but it's not according to knowledge. Meaning, therefore, nothing good is going to come out of it because it's not according to how God says. Exactly. Watch this, read. The book of Joe, chapter 14, and verse 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Read it from the top again. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. So it's an unclean thing to have church on Sunday, or uh, like Sunday there's the Sabbath. Sunday is the Sabbath. Yeah. That's an unclean thing. Right. So nothing clean is gonna come out of that. Whether how much good they think they got in their heart, it ain't gonna work like that. You see what I'm saying? Cause God says an uh, unclean thing. Can't nothing good come out of it. Right. A corrupt tree cannot bring forth good fruit. Right. Give me that in Matthew chapter 7. Bring it out. Um, a corrupt tree can't bring forth good fruit. It's not possible. No. It don't work like that. No you see what I want? Matthew yeah. chapter 7. Because if you can't, just think about it. God telling us that for a reason. Because we expect good results out of stuff that's not even biblical. Right. Exactly. You worshiping Satan. But you think that blessings gonna come out of it. Not blessings from the most high God, though. Ah. Satan got the power to bless you with material things and to make you and fool you to think you're gonna get the kingdom of heaven, but it don't work like that. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 16. Ye shall know them by their fruits. God said you shall know them by the fruits. We look at the fruits that we doing. We out here teaching our people the laws of God. It don't matter if it's 150 degrees out here. We're going to be out here if it's hot, if it's cold. We're going to come out and teach our people. We're going to try to work with the churches in the community. we showing our fruits. No, you're doing God's work. You decide don't even matter. It don't matter because we know that we're doing what according to what thus said the Lord. That's right. Read. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? E even so, every good tree bringing forth good fruit. The Bible said every good tree bringing forth good fruit. Right. Read. But a corrupt tree. But what? A corrupt tree. The Christian church is a corrupt tree, bro. I hate to say it. But it is what it is because they don't teach God's laws. Right. It said a corrupt tree. Read. Bring it forth evil fruit. Bring it forth what? Evil fruit. You see that? A corrupt tree bring forth evil fruit. A church that allow women to, to teach, to, to pastor, to, uh, to do sermons over the congregation. Ain't no good fruit coming out of that. That's evil according to God. Because God said the flock of his pastor is men. You see what I'm saying? Not to say that women don't have a, 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 a part. Give me that in Titus chapter 2. I'm going to show you who they supposed to be teaching, bro. Because they nope. do teach. They're just not supposed to usurp you throw authority over the men. They do supposed to teach, though. The Bible got all the answers. Read. Titus chapter 2. Four. 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 Okay. 
The book of Titus chapter 2 verse 4. That they may teach the young women to be sober. Jump up a little bit. Verse 3. That, that the aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as become of holiness. So we're talking about the aged women right now because we love our black women. Read. Not false accusers. Not giving too much wine. Teachers of good things. That they may teach the young women. That they do what? May teach the young women. That they may do what? Teach the young women to be sober. To love their husbands. To love their children. To be discreet. Chase. Keep us at home. Good. Obedient to their own husbands. You see that? That the word of God be not blasphemed. You see that? So that's what the women supposed to be doing right there. They supposed to be teaching the younger women. They supposed to be teaching no damn man. Right. You know what I'm saying? They supposed to teach the young women how to be sober. How to stay They ain't doing that, bro. And the men, they sitting back and they allowing it to, they allowing it to do it, bro. These niggas ain't going to be smoking crack and smoking dope and doing everything. They ain't thinking about nothing about life. They don't know nothing about life, really. They, don't, they, they ain't thinking about no stuff like that. Hey, that's why we out here that's doing what we doing. That's our black community, man, stuff like that. They right. put drugs in our neighborhood. Right. Now they got some stuff people don't, it's killing when they touch it. That fentanyl. Yeah, exactly. Yup. But the white, who put it in? The black man didn't make that. No. Nope. Now a white man done that. That's right. ain't bringing that stuff to black folks, to the community. That's why I'll stop, our problem here, stop, stop that white man from bringing that shit into our community. Right. So we uh, we arguing with the people in the church. We need to be arguing with these folks out there in these streets. And hey. all the other stuff. You, part, you, you yeah. right. Yeah. But guess what? The only way we're going to be able to stop that, bro, is give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. This the only way we're gonna be able to stop it. We gotta come together. But we gotta come together under the laws of God. That's right. Amen. Read? Because guess what? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. I'm gonna tell you why our community is like this right here. I'm gonna tell you why everything is going on negative in the black community. It's because of one reason. And this is one reason only. We can come together all we want, but until we change this right here, no problem is gonna be fixed. Read? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou service not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. The Bible said because we don't serve God with joyfulness, read. And with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Because our people don't want to serve God. We want to do what the hell we want to do. Yeah, that the Bible said because we do that, read. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. God said because you do that, you're going to serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. And hunger. God said when you get hungry, where you got to go buy your food from? The same. The so-called white man. The so-called Arab man. The so-called Chinese man. It ain't just the white man. God said you going to serve your enemies, read. And then thirst. When you thirsty. That water that you drinking right now, where you think we got that water from? We had to go buy that from the other nations. Read. And then nakedness. The clothes, that suit that you got on, where they come from? Look, we picked cotton. We picked cotton for 400 years. We Look at that. We picked cotton. We don't own no textile companies. Right. No. All that cotton that our forefathers picked, we still working in the fields right now. My daddy picked cotton. Tell me he used to get like a dollar fifty cent a week. Yeah, that's why, that's why the white man had to control Ooh. everything. The white man. So we got to get on the white man. Right. That's Read verse 47. Problem, Watch this, though. This the reason right here, though. Because thou service not the Lord thy God. Because we don't serve the Lord thy God. God said, I'm going to allow this to happen to y'all. Because we ain't serving that Because we're not serving God. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Check it out. This the reason why. Because God only dealing with the people on this side right here. Right. He punishing those people because he gave us the commandments. He didn't give them to the so-called white man. Watch this, read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God says if we don't listen to his word. God said this was going to happen in the future tense, bro. This is very important what I'm going to show you, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? God says if y'all don't keep the commandments, I'm going to let curses come upon your people. 
Let's see what some of the curses are. This is how we know we the Israelites according to the Bible because of the curses that's in the Bible. God said, I'm going to curse my chosen people. That's right. Watch this, read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. The Bible says that the real Israelites were going to be cursed in the city. Right. Who cursed in the city, bro? Us. We in the ghetto. Exactly. We the one getting shot down every day. We the one that sell dope to our own mama. Right, the white man don't be doing that. The Arab man, you don't ever hear about them having black on black crime in the, uh, in, the in the community. God says what? And cursed shall thou be in the field. The Bible said we were gonna be cursed in the field. You see that? Who did that happen to? The black folk. That happened to the black folk. The that Hispanics. That's what they put in the field, picking tide. Right. So what do we gotta do to to reverse that? Because God said, God, God, everything God said gonna happen. God said, I'm going to curse y'all if y'all don't keep the commandments of God. So what must we do to get out of the curse? You got to change your life. Change your way. You got to change your way. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. I appreciate y'all. I got to make a wrong. Yeah. I got you, bro. Yeah, bro. Y'all both okay. come together. Hey, you got the you got the fly right there, man. I'll contact information on them. We got a school in Little Rock. Okay, then. Zephaniah 2 and 1. End it with that. Yeah. Zephaniah 2 and 1. We got a school in Little Rock, man, and, and we, we try to get our people to come visit from us. from Little Rock? Yeah, we from Little Rock. Okay. A lot of us from a lot of different places, but we all come together in Little Rock. That's right. Watch this, Reed. The book is up for now, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it up. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together, O nation not desire. Would you agree that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we the nation not desire? God said we must gather together. Now, we, we appreciate you stopping and listening, bro, because believe it or not, you the only one that came out here. Well, you know, a lot of people don't want to hear about God, though. But you know why? You know, they run off from when they hear the real deal. Exactly. You know why, though? Yeah. I ain't mean to cut you off. Give me John 8 and 47. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. You the only one out here. A lot of times, I ain't be like that. But watch this, Reed. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 47. He that is of God... Hear of God's word. Apparently you of God because you want to hear the word of God. Read. Ye therefore hear them not because ye are not of God. Hey, read it from the top, man. He that is of God hear of God's words. Ye therefore hear them not because ye are not of God. So a lot of people, they don't want to hear the word of God because they not of, of God. It ain't for them. They don't want to hear it because they not of God, bro. So we appreciate you stopping and listening to us, bro, bringing the scriptures out. All right. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 